Hey, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a CalDigit Thunderbolt 4 Element Hub. It has three USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4 ports on the front, and then it has four USB 3 normal ports on the back, regular USB. I picked this up to expand the single native Thunderbolt port on the back of this machine to the three ports, and then also having the extra USBs is handy, but mainly for the Thunderbolt 4 ports, which connected to Thunderbolt 3 work as Thunderbolt 3, I assume. The main reason that I picked this hub over some of the other ones, the OWC or the Anchor Thunderbolt 4 hubs, is that this one is backwards compatible with Windows as well as Mac OS. So this machine has a single Thunderbolt 3 port on it, and it is dual booting into Mac OS Mojave and Windows 11. So I'll just show you here that it's working with the UAD Apollo Twin MK2, which is a Thunderbolt UAD interface. Just give me a second and I shall reconfigure the camera angle. Okay, so currently the UAD Apollo Twin is turned off, so I'll just turn it on here. You'll hear the little clicks. Uh, it's connecting. And then you can see down here that it's fully connected. So awesome. It's working great on Windows. Now to see if it works in Mac OS when I reboot the system. Usually what I end up having to do with Mac OS is that I have to boot it twice to get the Thunderbolt recognized. So I'm wondering if that's going to be an issue with this particular hub. Hopefully not. But yeah, I'll just reboot now. So in order to get this interface recognized in Mac OS, it works fine with USB interfaces, but for Thunderbolt, it's a little bit different process. It's not hot swappable. I wonder, I don't know. I might be able to work out a way to get it hot swappable, but I have to put it into the boot menu, turn the Apollo off, turn the Apollo back on. Wait for the clicks. Select the boot drive that has Mac OS on it. Boot Mac OS from Mac OS. Okay, so first time it's not recognized. Then what I'll have to do is restart again. And then when the second time that it restarts, that's when it'll connect, hopefully. So bring it back into the boot menu again. So we'll turn it off, turn it back on for a second time. Hmm, didn't hear the click that I was looking for there. Let's see. Okay, it looks like it's actually working this time. Yep, cool. So as you can see there, it's connected down at the bottom here. So this CalDigit Thunderbolt 4 hub is now working with Mac OS and Windows 11. It should work with Windows 10 as well. So basically it's backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 3. This is the same process that I have to do every time with Mac OS for whatever reason. It, used to be 50-50 and then I updated the firmware on the Thunderbolt controller and now it's every time but at least it's consistent and it works. I might have to figure out how to edit this Hackintosh install, maybe update it to Big Sur and see if I can get Thunderbolt hot swap enabled because that would be awesome. But yeah hopefully that's helped someone who's in a similar situation to me if you're using Thunderbolt 3 on either a Hackintosh or a Windows based computer running Windows 10 or 11 then this is actually a really good hub for you. So it's the Thunderbolt 4 Element Hub from CalDigit. I'll leave a link in the description. I picked this one up on Amazon. Came within a couple of days. So very happy with that. So yeah, cheers.